Patreon patrons, do you get too much credit? Be honest with me. The answer is no. Anyway, who is ready to grip it and whip it, so to speak? Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt, and I'm gonna try to book it to a town that I sort of passed up in my previous episode. Because there are things for me to purchase and find in that town that are useful. And I kind of got to go fast because I think night falls at like 2 o'clock? I don't really know how the time works, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, I got to walk down these stairs, which is annoying. But let me tell you about what we did last episode. Uh, we entered Berkeley Mansion. I don't know how you're supposed to know the names of some of these mansions. But apparently that first one where we found Dracula's rib is called Berkeley Mansion. With three E's in it. Isn't that crazy? Then, um, we saved the game and we kind of stopped there. But now we've made it to some other town where we can turn right for Dobby's Path, left for Veros Woods. And I just bought myself a dagger, which is like a pretty useful item. Oh no. It just became night before I could enter the church. I don't think I can enter the church at night. That's where I was trying to get before nightfall. Yeah, I cannot enter the church. Well, at least I have this dagger. So I can creep around town fighting these creeps. And because I have the dagger, I can kill the witches in two hits. Which would normally take me four hits with the leather whip, as I just showed you. So, like, why am I using the leather whip at all? But yeah, that sucks that I can't get into the church to restore my health at night. The door is wide open, so I don't know. Maybe I have to be invited in like a vampire? Maybe that's part of the curse. Maybe that's part of Simon Belmont's curse. Is that occasionally... He gets vampire properties, such as at night, and he can only be invited. He can only enter buildings if he's invited. That's part of my headcanon now, anyway. But hey, I made it to this town, which I believe is called Veros. Or at least that's the name of the woods outside of here. But I came here, one, to get this dagger, which is, you know, handy to have. It's got, a it's got great range and does decent damage. But also, I think I could buy a chain whip in this town. Which would be a huge upgrade to the leather whip. Um, I could have bought a thorn whip in Jova, which is the town where you start, which is the starting location. For a hundred hearts, which is like arguably not worth it. It does double the damage of the Leather Whip. That is, it deals two damage. The Leather Whip does one damage. So the Thorn Whip, I could have had it for, um, well, now, and for Berkeley Mansion. For Charles Berkeley Mansion. And I would have been dealing two damage to things instead of just one. It's also a little bit longer than the Thorn Whip. I'm, I'm sorry, than the Leather Whip, the one that you start with. The one that I have now. Um, which is probably the most useful feature of the Thorn Whip, is that it's longer than the original whip. But instead, I decided to save myself a hundred hearts and just skip to the next whip upgrade. Especially because, like, look, I could buy a dagger, you know? I could buy a dagger, so, like, why do I ever need a Thorn Whip? And the dagger, by the way, doesn't cost any hearts to use. Yeah, I still have 236. Which is a lot of money, by the way, so... I'm doing a great job grinding here. Um... But yeah, that's... That's one of the general criticisms of this game, is that... A lot of it is just grinding for hearts. If you want to buy the items and such, which, you know, who wouldn't want to do that? The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. It honestly wasn't that bad. I mean, I just hung out in town, slapping some zom-zoms. But hey, let's um, walk around here for a bit and talk to people. Okay, so it seemed like around 2 o'clock, night turned into day. 
Um, and I want to equip holy water in this room. Because... Sometimes when you enter a room... You'll find that there's nothing in it, so you have to smash all the walls with holy water to reveal a path. Purchase a chain whip? Is that your chain? Yeah, I will. For 150 bucks, kinda pricey, but definitely worth it. Look at that! It's longer than my previous whip, is it not? And it makes a new sound effect. Let's go talk to some people in town and see what they have to say. I didn't really touch on this in the first episode. But you've got a friend waiting for you in the town of al -Jiba. I was going to say a lot of the dialogue and the writing in this game is poorly translated. Clues to Dracula's riddle are in Berkeley Mansion. Okay, that's the first time you hear the name Berkeley Mansion. I guess that's how you're supposed to figure out what that mansion is called. Clues to Dracula's <clears throat> riddle are in the town of Alba. Okay. So, this is an excellent example. Uh, as I was saying, a lot of the NPCs and the dialogue and the clue books that you find in this game will give you bad information. This one's bad because I don't think there is a town of Alba in this game. I don't think there is a town named Alba. There's an Algeba, like the other guy said. But, you know, if you're a youngster back in 19... 88 playing this game for the first time You'll probably assume that that wasn't a typo and that there is a town named Alba and a town named Algeba You look pale my son look who's talking you must rest in the church sure I would I mean I do look pale That might be a reference to like oh you you look like you've been cursed by a vampire or some shit rest here for a while Anyway, to continue what I was talking about, along with the poor translation about the dialogue, there are some NPCs in the game who will just straight up lie to you. A rib can shield you from evil. That guy's translation was pretty good. He's talking about this little shield thing that I have, which is actually Dracula's rib, as you saw in my menu just there. And it can shield you from evil, it can deflect Fireballs and certain projectiles that monsters will shoot. I feel a little scatterbrained right now, because like maybe I should just stick to a topic and talk about it, you know. Whoops, I jumped into the lava. Which didn't deal that much damage to me. But okay, I was going to say, in the original Japanese version, it's it's subtle, but you can usually tell which NPCs how did I not hit that guy? Which NPCs are telling you false information? Because most of the NPCs who tell you incorrect information will begin the conversation with something like, I heard a rumor that... Or, it has been said that... And then they'll tell you something about, Oh, the sixth tree in the woods uh, has a secret, which is false. So isn't that cool? I mean, this game is so awesome, except for, like, some really critical flaws, and that's absolutely one of them. Is that the clues that the people in this game, and the books, and the, you know, signs and stuff in this game, like, all of the information that you get, there's just a chance that it's wrong. Anyway, check this weird thing out. You now possess the sacred flame. Interesting that they spell possess correctly here but not when I grab one of Dracula's parts. Ah, that sounded wrong. You know what I meant. When I acquire one of his remains, his body parts, such as his rib. Oh boy, the spiders. Some of the most annoying enemies in the game. Um, and it doesn't help that I'm jumping straight into them. I thought maybe I could blow up those blocks and jump into the water for a quick swim. Um, anyway, where am I going now? I think I'm going to the east, through these woods, to another town where I have some errands to run. You know, because as we, as we found out in the first part of the game, this is a business trip for Simon Belmont. The prologue says so. Oh, wow, a skeleton that takes two damage? Let's go in here. 
Haha, I'm gonna destroy the floors. And oh good. There's not, dang it, I was gonna say there's no stairs in this house. You just walk down and fall down a drop. Will you buy some garlic? I will. Like, why can't I put the garlic in my soup? Yeah, that kid who was talking about soup, that's like another weird translation. I, I don't think there's anything about soup in this game. Unfortunately. Let's read the sign. Turn right for Camilla Cemetery. Left for the Algeba Woods. Okay, so I believe this is Algeba. This is the town of Algeba. And correct me if I'm wrong, but we have a friend here. By the way, you may have noticed this in the previous episode, but when you're inside, time stands still. And that's why when I was in Berkeley Mansion, um, it did not become night or daytime at any time. We didn't have that transition. Dracula's eyeball reflects the curse. Another poor translation. Um, but essentially what they're supposed to be saying is that Dracula's eyeball can see through the quote-unquote evil walls that are normally otherwise destroyed with um, the holy water. Maybe that's not entirely accurate. I think it just means you can see like the books when they're hidden in walls and such. Buy some garlic. It has special powers, such as being delicious. Oh, goodness. Okay, another horrible night to have a curse. Yeah, like, this night was pretty bad already, but, like, curse on top of that? I don't know, man. I'm pretty booked. You think we can reschedule this curse? Whoa, and these Zomzoms take three hits with the chain whip. Like, I just upgraded my weapon, and it's already... <laughs> weak compared to the enemies that I'll face in these areas. But, you know, while I'm here, I can't really talk to any towns, folks, so let's beat up some... I always thought they were witches when I was younger. Maybe it's a... maybe it's the hair. And the greenness. You know, you know how cartoon witches always have, like, a really huge and long nose with a wart on it and their skin is green? And they have crazy hair. Maybe that's why I thought this thing was a witch. Of course, it doesn't have a witch's hat, so like, there's no way it could be a real witch, right? Maybe that's why it's so angry. It doesn't have its hat. That's probably it. Or because I'm whipping it with a chain. That, that Maybe that has something to do with it, too. Also, for no reason, I kind of want to point out in this game that Simon Belmont has a completely different look. In Castlevania 1, he's like orange, right? And in this one, he's red and black with white boots and gloves and very white skin. Which, again, is probably part of Dracula's curse. And I got nothing else to say about that. What time is it right now? Three in the morning? Three at night? Really know how their clock works. Ooh, baby, I got me a level up. See that? I have one experience as well. But yeah, every time you collect enough hearts, which which also counts as experience. That is, hearts are used as currency, it's used as experience, and it's also used as ammunition when you use certain items. But if you collect enough hearts to gain enough experience, you can level up in this game. And I think it just increases your life bar and, like, maybe increases some defense value that is unseen. I'm not too sure about that. I should have looked it up after last episode. I should have looked it up after Castlevania 1. And I'm gaining hearts now, but for some reason my experience is stuck on 1. Can I not level up any further? I don't know why that would be. Maybe it has something to do with the amount of um, Dracula parts I process? I'm not sure. But yeah, this game is great! It's a lot of walking back and forth in town when you can't do anything else at night. But I have a bunch of money. I bought some garlic, correct? Alright, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night.
Thanks, son. Let's, um, <clears throat> explore the town a little bit. Now that I have this chain whip. And I love that this kid... First of all, I love how vertical these towns are. Like, who was the architect that decided, you know what? We're gonna have four buildings in this town. And, like, each of them has a really long balcony that connects to some other buildings. Clues to Dracula's Riddle are in the Veros Woods. That's probably true. There's probably at least one clue book in the Veros Woods that I might have missed. I don't know. But hey, let's go over here. Um, I'm not actually sure what I can buy. Buy some of my laurels? Oh, yeah. I will need these. I, can I buy more than two? Let's find out. Yeah, I have four laurels total. Um, and I guess I should explain. The garlic does some weird stuff in this game. You can use it as like a really weak weapon, apparently. I've never seen that, but I read that on a website that I was, that I was browsing last night. But the main purpose of the garlic is that you can use it to like summon merchants in certain places. Clues to Dracula's Riddle are in Rover Mansion. Rover? Hardly newer. The laurels, on the other hand, when you use them, you get 10 seconds of invisibility. A laurel, I'm sorry, invincibility. A laurel will protect you from the poison marsh. And yeah, that's where it's most useful. At certain points in this game, you have to cross a, lily, uh, a really long, I guess it's a poisoned marsh. I always thought it was lava. Um, but the marsh hurts you as you walk in it, so if you use the laurels, you will be protected. The dead river waits to be freed from the curse. A very ambiguous clue that is much more uh, specific in the Japanese translation. To restore your life, shout in front of the church. Okay, that's another poor translation thing. <laughs> There's, there's no need to shout, actually. I don't know why they tell you to shout in front of the church. You just have to go walk inside and get healed. And by the way, there is no church in this town. Anyway, this is what I came here for. I'd like to exchange a quiet crystal for a blue one. And he just done did it. I think if you talk to him again, he's like super rude to you. I refuse to exchange my crystal for yours. I mean, he kind of forced me into the trade in the first place. And he doesn't want any trade backs. He's what a bully. Nah, I'm just kidding. The, the blue crystal is necessary. Um, in fact, I, I think I said in the previous episode that the white crystal is unnecessary. You don't need it for Berkeley Mansion, but you do need it to exchange for a blue one. Anyway, look at this graveyard. There are hands sticking out of the ground here. And if I go all the way to the right, I can find that there's kind of a dead end that I can't pass now. So instead, what I will do is I will drop a garlic, which summons this guy. I'll give you this silver knife to save your neck. Um, and it's actually a pretty good item. I know I just got the regular dagger, but now I have the silver one, which is arguably better because it goes across the entire screen. It does some pretty good damage. Um, the trade-off, though, is that it costs one heart to use. So maybe I'll put that away for a minute and use my regular dagger. Which has, yeah, which still has much better range than the chain whip. But hey, now that I have this blue crystal, I can go this way. I mean, I could have gone this way before. I don't know how I dodged that spider web and got hit by the skeleton. But I am very good at games. Okay, so I'm about to do a thing that I don't really know how you're supposed to figure out. I think at some point someone gives you a clue to to go to the lake. What, what is their exact wording? They say something like, uh, the earth accepts the water if you bring a crystal to the lake or something like that. But I'll show you what they mean. It's just another instance of poor translation, making it hard to figure out what to do in Castlevania 2.
Ah, I almost walked straight into the water there. Okay. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is bring a, a blue crystal to this spot and duck for, I don't know, five seconds. And it reveals a hidden path. I thought I was about to fall in the water there. That was dangerous. But that hidden path will bring you to this mansion, which whose name I forgot. Oh, that flame lingered a little longer than I expected. But this one's fairly straightforward, actually. Um, you need to make some crazy jumps. This one's kind of difficult, especially with lag. And don't be afraid here. Just jump straight into this wall. Did you see that flame popping out at the uh, at the other side of the screen there? So yeah, if you go straight across, you'll make it to this area, and I think there's one more difficult jump that I have to do. I might need my blue crystal equipped for this part. Oh boy. Yeah, because there's a wall that moves back and forth, and it will push you into the drink if you're not careful. But hey, here is where you find the guy, or lady, I don't know, who is selling oak steaks inside a mansion full of monsters. I can only imagine that their business is booming. I mean, to the... Oh, you can see the wall without the blue crystal. Okay, I didn't know that, actually. Do the monsters buy oak steaks? The only reason I can think of for them to buy an oak steak is so that Simon won't be able to buy one. Like, they purchase all the inventory. So there's none left for any vampire killers. Assuming these minions are all loyal to Dracula. Just like they are in the show. I don't know if you've seen any of the Castlevania show on Netflix. It's pretty good, um, but I recently found out that there were some like pretty bad allegations against some of the creators. I don't know too much about it, but maybe I should look it up. Who knows, maybe the show is cancelled. Both uh, literally and figuratively. But yo, look at that! I just crawled up some weird part of the wall where there's like... Kind of? Stairs? Um, let's search for some clues with this holy water. Ooh, hey, yeah, look at that! First try, baby! Garlic in the graveyard summons a stranger. Yeah, that's exactly the thing that I showed you earlier. There might even be one more stranger that I can summon in a different graveyard with different garlic. Or the same garlic. Yeah, weird that once you use the garlic, you can't, like, pick it up. Kaboom! I shook the room, baby. You now process Dracula's heart. That's nice to have. I'm not really sure what the heart does. I can't remember what the heart does. I think you need it to get across a certain river. Like you give it to the uh, the river man, the gondola guy. Whoa, what was that? I didn't throw my dagger for some reason. I just tried to punch. Okay, I'm gonna equip regular dagger because like I'm only gonna need silver dagger if I have a target like way across the room. Thank you for that help. Yeah, the thing's got some good range. Like Mariah Carey. Seven octaves? Are you kidding me? Incredible. Anyway, I think we can just get out of here. Ah, that was scary for a second. Um, but before I leave, I might go buy one... I might go invest in one more oak steak. And, like, that's a word that I didn't really know when I was five years old. So I remember playing this game being like, what do they mean, invest in an oak steak? A vest is something you wear. An invest is something that you wear indoors. That has to be it. Alright, that thing's killed me too many times. For me to attempt commentary while I'm dodging it. Also, there might be something up... Upstairs there, where that skeleton is. But you see his path, right? He's walking back and forth in a very small path. Which must mean that there are false floors near him. So, 
Let's be careful here, actually. I'm gonna be super annoying with these... With these holy waters. Okay, so that's real ground. It looks like... It looks like the false floors coincide with these... Gated windows? Yeah, there we go, there's a clue up here. Destoroy the curse with Dracula's heart. Super ambiguous. Um, again, that's another clue that I believe the original translation has a lot more to say about. And what it means is, <clears throat> I think, the, the, remember that lady that said the river was cursed? You can apparently destroy that curse with Dracula's heart. And you're supposed to bring his heart to the ferryman to get across the river to, I don't know, a different place than he normally takes you. But saying the curse in this game is so ambiguous because, like, what the hell in this game isn't cursed? Like, even the night is cursed. Time is cursed in this game? You gotta be more specific about which curse you're talking about, book. Anyway, I made it through another mansion. And that's probably a pretty good place to uh, save the game. Which I can do because I'm playing it on the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. Anyway, thanks for watching this part of Castlevania 2. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. I can play around with the uh, video settings, huh? I don't. I actually haven't seen this yet. I'm gonna leave it on the original. Uh, bye.